name's Lisa Puttick. I'm 51. I've had about 33 jobs. In the early years when I worked, I just did what I needed to do. The job wasn't important, it was just to earn money because I had two small children. And it was as they got older, that's when I decided then that I wanted a career. I'd like my future to be as happy as I am now, to still be happily married, uh, to watch the grandchildren grow and just have a happy, healthy life. To think that there could be another 50 years in front of me, I think that's a bit daunting. Exciting, but a bit scary as well. So I'm now off to meet an amazing lady called Dillis Price. She's uh, 86. She's done over a thousand skydives since she was 54. And I'm really looking forward to meeting her. It's a beautiful time to be older now. People in their 60s are starting second careers, are taking up new hobbies, using their leisure time to do activities which they didn't have time for before. My parents seem to be just grey. Yeah. Their friends just seem to be grey. My parents didn't have a pension at all. Life was hard. I can never imagine one of them decided to skydive when they were 54. And now it's so different. There's so much more financial opportunities for me. And I can now do things which perhaps 50 years ago would not have been possible. I am more involved in wanting money to be spent on activities rather than objects. It was probably important for my parents to save up money to buy a three-piece suite, to buy a car in their old age. For me, that is not important, and money is more of a commodity for enjoying life and bringing more joy to myself and actually to other people. By my reckoning, I can see me working till I'm about 75. <laughs> life is full of possibilities. Keep working step by step for the job that really delights your passion and brings in your money. Or if you are going to work for your 75, like me, find something you love doing. But you're only 50. You know, life has only just started for you. I would like to travel the world a bit more. When our mortgage is paid, then things will be a bit easier. And then it's time for us to have our life then. It's all in the mindset. Obviously, my body will become less able. I will still look at what I can do and get excited by what I can do. I take a moving class and everyone there has got one bit of them that's artificial. <laughs> artificial knee, a pacemaker. And of course, because of that, we are more able. Meeting with Dillis was amazing. She's just a huge inspiration. And if I could be like Dillis when I'm 86, then I would be quite happy with that. What advice would you give to people now going into their second part of their life? Whatever you do, whenever things go wrong, if ever you fall off your bike, you get back on and you do wheelies. 